guys, I'm Alejandra. And I'm Caroline. And today we're making a peanut butter Mexican meatloaf. So for this recipe, we're gonna use a whole bunch of different flavors and ingredients. Over here, we've got some dried oregano, a little bit of garlic, some cumin, some cayenne pepper, some smoked Spanish paprika, a little bit of chili powder, salt, pepper, and we're using some toasted sandwich bread, a little bit of milk, some slightly beaten eggs, our crunch time peanut butter, a couple pounds of ground beef, and then we've got a little ketchup glaze made with ketchup, some cayenne pepper, and a little bit of smoked paprika. All right, so we're gonna start out by soaking our bread, and this is gonna make the meatloaf super moist. I just have about four slices of toasted bread here. You can use stale bread. You need about two cups total. We're gonna add our milk, and slightly beaten egg. I know some meatloaf recipes use breadcrumbs instead. It's kind of the same thing, right? Exactly, yeah. This just soaks it in. It makes it really nice and moist, similar to what you do with meatballs. Then we're gonna add our crunch time peanut butter. I actually warmed it up a little bit in the microwave just so that it soaks into that bread nicely. And I'm just gonna stir this up. And you wanna leave this about 10 minutes just so it soaks up all this good stuff in here. All right, so this has been soaking for 10 minutes. It's ready to add to our meat mixture. If you want to scrape that in there. Sure. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the rest of our ingredients. So we've got this garlic, the oregano, a little spicy cayenne, ground cumin, our smoked Spanish paprika, a little bit of chili powder, some salt, some ground black pepper. This looks awesome. So much good stuff, really amazing kind of Mexican flavors in here. So now I'm just gonna mix this up to so combine all those flavors and the bread mixture, just so everything is evenly combined. So if you wanna go ahead and make our glaze, this is gonna go right on top of the meatloaf while we bake it. It's gonna make it a nice finishing touch. So we've just got a little bit of ketchup, cayenne, and paprika. It's gonna make a really nice glaze for the top of our meatloaf. It's nice to just doctor up a, a pantry ingredient. Oh, totally, just gives it a little something special. Okay, so this is perfect. Now we're ready to put this onto our baking sheet. So now instead of using a baking pan like you might use with a meatloaf, I like to actually do it right on a baking sheet. It lets the heat distribute evenly and the whole meatloaf just cooks much quicker and it's not too fatty at the end. So I'm just gonna put this right onto our pan. If you wanna help me by holding the bowl. Sure. Get that all on there. Ooh, there we go. And so you just wanna kind of form it into a little bit of a football shape. I'm actually gonna use my hands here. And so if you wanna take that glaze and just brush it all over the entire loaf. I'm the glaze gal, I got it. There you go. This is great, it seems like it would make a lot of really great leftovers. This is the perfect meatloaf for a meatloaf sandwich. So much good flavor. All right, so once we're done with the glaze, we're gonna pop this into an oven, 350 degrees for about 50 minutes to an hour until it's cooked through and the glaze is set. So we got the meatloaf out of the oven and it looks perfect. It smells amazing. This is gonna be such a great dinner tonight. Such an easy dinner. Absolutely. It's the whole family. Totally, now let's slice this baby up. It's nice and moist from that bread. And oh, the peanut butter. Totally. Yeah. So there you have it. Peanut butter Mexican meatloaf. All right, so let's give this a try. All right. One for me, one for you. I'm gonna get a piece of that glaze. Yeah, I've, I've got the stuff. nice end. All right. Oh, that's really nice. All those great spices in there and the sweetness from the ketchup and peanut butter. Absolutely perfect combination of flavors. It's really moist too mm -hmm. from the peanut butter. It's delicious. Meatloaf is an easy to prepare dish. It's always a hit with the family. What are some of your family's favorite dinner time dishes? Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. We hope you love this recipe and if you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Every week we cook up a new peanut buttery dish, so make sure you follow the Peanut Butter and Company channel to catch them all. We'll see you next time. So we've got a lot of great spices in this and no well, ingredients. Yeah. So, so for this recipe, we're gonna use a whole bunch of different flavors and ingredients. Over here, we've got some ground, dry right now.